Okay guys, so this video is going to walk you through how to use the arrays to build our multiple quizzes. So this is the end product, um, and you can do any HTML and CSS you want. It doesn't have to look this fancy, but the thing you're going to make is your three JavaScript boxes right here, those little buttons, uh, one for each musical artist. So if you look at the code, um, this is what it looks like. You're going to build this. This first function, once you have it down, you can actually use the same for the second and third, and I'll walk you to do that. So section one, create a table project. We did that. Step two, delete everything between the body tags. So go ahead and do that right there. Uh, three, add a new JavaScript file by clicking the green button next to files. It should be called script.js. So we go there. And then real quick, I'm gonna name my project. I'm gonna say musical artist video example so that I know this is the one I made with you guys in the video. Uh, step four, delete everything so script.js is blank. All right, I'm ready to roll now on section two, which is adding HTML content. So first is linking our HTML to our JavaScript file. To do this, enter the following line of code in line eight of your HTML between the CSS link and the head tag. Remember, it should go in the head because it's behind the scenes. Um, that'll make sure that our script is ready when we need it. And then next, we're going to create a button around our first function, which will be called first quiz. So again, you can base it off of the picture. But that goes right here. And I'm going to put Kendrick Lamar because that's the name of my artist. Um, my entire example is going to be about Kendrick Lamar, but yours does not have to be. Okay, on to the JavaScript. So you will know you are done when you have one function as a five question quiz for your first musical artist. Again, mine's Kendrick Lamar. Use the same code to create one for a second artist and use the same code to create one for your third artist. Again, note all of this code is going to go in script.js. So each of our quizzes will be their own individual functions with their own individual buttons. So you want to create a function called first quiz and your picture should look like that. So again, go to script, function, first quiz, done. Uh, next, on the first line of function two, run an alert box telling the user they're about to take a quiz on your artist. So my example is going to be Kendrick Lamar. You are about to take a quiz Oops. on Kendrick Lamar. Semicolon, because that ends the line. Uh, on the next on the function, create our first array called questions. You created the same way as the variable, so use var and then include brackets. You can even copy and paste the example code. So I'm going to do that. Remember, an array is just a variable that has a lot of space, so a lot of different space for values and it goes inside brackets, so I can put more than one values here. Um, inside the brackets, there's five questions about your artist. Each one should go in quotation marks because it is a string and should be separated commas. Your code will look like this if you do it correctly. So I'm just gonna go back and forth. So remember, strings are what gets read by text or as text. Uh, that's my first question, what year was Kendrick Lamar born? I put a comma after the quotation mark before I go into the second question. And so I'm just gonna pause real quick while I run through these. And again, you can make yours about any artist you want. Okay, so my questions array is in. Again, the name of my variable is questions, 
And then I have five questions inside the bracket. So there are five values inside this array. On the next line, create an array called answers that has in the correct order the answers to your five questions. If you use quotations and separate them by commas, your code will look like this. So if you notice, I have var answers equals, and then I go ahead and just put my five answers right there. Um, again, I do it the same way. I use var. So I'm going to go on line four. I use my brackets, and then this one's 1987. Remember to use commas between them. Okay, I have two arrays, I have questions, I have answers. If you're checking yours at this point, the only thing it'll do is the alert box. We haven't actually done anything with the arrays yet. So on the next line, create a for loop that'll run through each item in our arrays. You will want the count to start at zero, the condition to be as long as count is less than five, since there are five items in the array, and the angle set mental statement to be count plus plus, so that we go up by one each time. This is gonna make sure each item gets used, because remember arrays start at zero, and since it's going until it's less than five, um, that means it'll run through each one. So the count is gonna be less than whatever the number of items is. So again, you can use the picture as your guide here. But I'm gonna go ahead and type that here. Okay. Step seven, in between the curly braces on line six, copy and paste the following code. So these are gonna set up our two variables. I'll explain what they are once they're in there. The first one's called guess, and that could be like is going to be equal to a prompt box with whatever one in the questions array count is currently equal to. So since count started zero, that means the first time it'll be what year was Kendrick Lamar born. The next time it'll be what was named as his first two album because that's count one. Same thing happens for the answers, that goes in a correct. If the first one's gonna be answer zero, which is going to be 1987, which will mean that the next one would be section 0.80 and so on. So our code should look like this, always check it against the pictures. Um, but again, just think of this number getting plugged in for count. So finally, add the following if else statement to line eight, but before the last two curly braces. So let's go ahead and copy that. Again, key before the last two curly braces because that's currently closing the for loop. That's currently closing the function. We want both of them to still be open. Okay, so now what happens is if whatever they guess is the same as what's in the correct variable, which is one of our answers, it's gonna tell them right on. Otherwise, it's gonna go down here and say, nope, the correct answer was plus whatever the correct answer is. So if we watch this real quick, um, I'm gonna get the first one right, and you'll notice it says right on. I'm gonna get the second one wrong. You notice it tells me what the correct answer was. So again, right, wrong. And there you have it. So that created one function. Um, what you're gonna do now is use the same code to create two more quizzes. All you're gonna have to do is add two more buttons and then two more functions. So again, if you look at the finished version, this stuff is all the same from the for loop down. All I had to do was change the text. So that was different questions and different answers. Same thing here, and then I created another button for each of them. Uh, in terms of the HTML and CSS, you can add whatever you'd like. Um, just make it so there's at least, I think the checklist says three HTML items and three CSS items. Okay, that's it. Um, good luck with your creation. I will be around to help.